部分觉得 Manila 不是有一个安全的地方。那我也是大概同意，可是我也是觉得 Manila 其实是还蛮好玩的地方。你就要加一些尝试，跟一些安全意识，你应该就可以了。Most people don't see Manila as a safe place, and for the most part, I have to agree. Um, there have been times where I've not felt so safe, but I also think it's a great place. Um, I've had such a good time hanging out in the city, and I think if you just apply a little bit of common sense and some basic safety awareness, you could really have a very good time in the city. Even though the Filipino people are some of the loveliest and most friendly people you will ever meet, Manila is regrettably one of the more dangerous cities I've ever ever traveled to. And unfortunately, it seems like that is the overall consensus. So, when you do visit, be vigilant at all times and avoid situations and places where you don't feel comfortable. Due to this fact, tourism in the city is a lot less prominent than, for example, places like Bangkok. But there is still a lot of things to do and see here. And in the three weeks that I stayed in Manila, I had a really fun and good time. I think the key is to be informed, aware, and prepared, knowing where to go and what to avoid. And hopefully, in this video, I am going to help you with some of that. So, according to Wikipedia, Manila is the mostly dense. Densely populated city in the world as of 2016. Well, I got stuck in Manila's rush hour traffic one day, so I would concur with that statement. A lot of people refer to Metro Manila simply as Manila.、Um, I do the same thing. However, Metro Manila actually consists of 16 cities.、Um, think of them like districts or suburbs, rather large districts and suburbs, of which one of them is the city of Manila. In other words, when people say Manila, they actually refer to a cluster of 16 cities under the umbrella name Metro Manila. But there is only one municipality in this 630 square kilometer area, which, as you can imagine, could make basic services scarce in certain places. So, from the research that I've done, and in talking to some friends who live in Metro Manila. It is best for first-time visitors to stay in the city of Makati. It's located in the commercial business district, so there's lots to do: plenty of little shops and restaurants and bars, convenience stores, department stores, and lots more. There's also many hotels and hostels in Makati to choose from. Plus, Makati is not that far away from the airport, and considering how congested traffic gets here, Makati is a good option. When I was there, I rented an apartment just north of the Green Belt Shopping Mall in Makati. While on the topic of the cities that make up Metro Manila, there are some cities you should avoid at all cost, and I am going to try my best to pronounce these names correctly. The dim areas of Malati, next to the Bay of Manila, where the botanical gardens are. Also, just north of that, Ermita, lots of muggings, pocket picking reported in this area. Novatas, they get really bad floods up there when it's raining. Tondo, these are slum areas and sadly have a very bad reputation as a haven of criminals. Baklaran. Uh, which is close to the airport. So, if you were going to stay overnight、um, near the airport, look for hotels or something in the area near the Marriott Hotel next to the airport. There's a couple of hotels in that area, and rather stay on that side. In fact, if you can help it, only visit places that are dubbed tourist friendly, and there are a couple. Makati being your first choice.、Uh, Bonifacio Global City. That's also one. It's close to Makati.、Um, to the west, Ort 
Ortigas, Ortigas to the west, and then further to the south, south of the airport even, Alabang City. And even then, be really vigilant and go there with a purpose. Um, go there to have dinner or shopping or something, but don't go there late at night and just stroll around. A very popular tourist hotspot is the historical citadel named Intramuros. Um, for the most part, Intramuros is considered a tourist-friendly area, but you will have a lot of freelance entrepreneurs there, so have your wits about you and don't talk to strangers. Also, since there is a golf course nearby and they don't have any barrier around the grounds, be aware of rogue golf balls. There are reports of people actually getting hit in the head with golf balls flying through the air. Um, I really enjoyed this area and I really enjoyed it because I also hired a driver and a pedicab to take me around the Intramuros area. But again, be sure to hire one that is certified to take tourists around and negotiate the price very clearly before you get into the pedicab. Um, keep in mind that there is a good chance that you're also going to be expected to pay a tip at the end of your ride. Have a look at the video I took when I hired a pedicab in Intramuros um, for a couple more do's and don'ts regarding uh, hiring pedicabs. I might as well quickly mention tipping. I'm not sure if that's entirely related to safety, but maybe it's something that you'd want to know. So, it seems that tipping at spas, hair salons and high-end hotels is not encouraged, which I find really odd because I went for a hair wash and there were tipping boxes right at the, door, at the door as you walk out. So I'm not entirely sure how that works. I think it might be safer just to ask if they accept tipping before you give it. Um, then for good taxi drivers, for tour guides, restaurants and so on, the going rate for tips seem to be between 10 and 20%. In terms of the weather and when a good time would be to visit Metro Manila, um, Manila's dry season is from December to May, while the rainy season is from June to November. March and May is the hottest and most humid time of the year, with temperatures frequently exceeding 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit. Uh, July and September are the wettest months, and December to February are the coolest months. If you do plan to visit during the rainy months, be very careful about flooding and not getting stuck in traffic when there is heavy rain. Well, while on the topic of traffic, I might as well quickly give you a summary of my experience with public transportation in Metro Manila. So, I did take the Manila MRT, which is the subway, by myself, and regardless of everything I read online, I thought it was actually quite okay. However, I would not encourage you doing that if you can avoid it. I also took taxis, which is a test of your patience. So brace yourself. Metro Manila taxis is a, is a whole different story. Uh, I did not get to take the traditional jeepneys, but they look really fun. And they have apps that can help you navigate if you did want to try and take one of them. For the most part, when I was in Manila, um, Uber worked really good. So... I just took Uber to most of my destinations. It is not recommended that you rent a car and drive yourself in Metro Manila. Rather, find a reputable driver that can take you around. The price of hiring a car yourself versus hiring a car with a driver might even be the same, so you might as well go for the latter option. Then I want to just quickly touch on a few more things. Um, avoid taxis with no meters and lock the door when you get in the taxi. Um, I did do a video on things you need to know before taking a taxi in Metro Manila and I would encourage you to watch that if you do plan to take a taxi. Don't talk to strangers. <laughs> there are lots of reports of people pretending to know you or they want to help you. If you did need help, um, find a hotel or a reputable store and ask the staff. There's still quite a bit of credit card fraud, so avoid paying by credit card at less reputable establishments. 
and carry small bills at all times. Most taxi drivers and even stores don't take big bills or they won't have change for big bills. Neither drugs nor prostitution is legal in Metro Manila. In fact, the country is on a serious war against drugs. So be very, very careful if you are just even around other people doing drugs. Try to avoid the international and domestic airports late at night. Um, and you know what? I'm going to stick my neck out and say, even try and avoid taking an airport taxi. I would rather suggest you to take an airport, airport coupon taxi. It's going to be more expensive, but you know what? It's a lot less hassle and stress, especially for first-timers. Look, there are a lot of great things about Manila, and some of them I managed to video, but I'm going to go back for sure, um, because I actually really did enjoy my time there. And one of the things I really enjoyed is the fact that everyone there spoke English, which makes ordering food, um, getting directions, whatever you need to do, bargaining fares, a lot easier. In conclusion, I would like to apologize if this all scared you. Um, but you know what? I would rather you be scared and safe than the alternative. And I'm going to say this once more. I stayed in Metro Manila alone for three weeks in an Airbnb in Makati. I went to Global City, I went to Intramuros, and I went to a couple of other places. Um, I was always very aware of my surroundings. And you know what? I had a really good time.